Hey everybody, welcome back to the third episode of my 30 Days to Die series. It is almost the morning of day three. 30 more minutes in game before we're ready to go. So today I think we're going to go hit up the trader. Uh, I put a bunch of stuff in here I think we can sell. We can sell the extra compound bows, our extra shotgun. Um, I've taken our, the better shotgun and the extra ammo just in case we run into trouble along the way. We're going to sell the, the better barter magazine and the stuff. We'll get 75 for this. Um, and if we use it, I don't think we'll get ex enough to make an extra 75, so we're just going to sell it. And as I said yesterday, we're going to bring the cooking pot. Um, just in case we do find a better place to live there, we'll be, we can set up shop um, and have a, a cooking pot so we can make stuff. Now, we're gonna, we got eight yucca juice and eight bacon and eggs, uh, plus a painkiller just in case we need it. I depleted my feathers down to 10 because we have 65 arrows and we can pick up some along the way. I just don't want to get over full with feathers. Um... We got four dukes that we can spend, plus, you know, 48 in cash, plus whatever this other stuff brings us. We're going to sell a sledgehammer. Um, don't really need it at this level, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, so uh, if we have a look at our character here before we go. I had some food. Um, I basically ate some extra food, ate some extra water. So our water is really good. Our food's really good. So it'll give us a chance to get a good distance before our stamina starts to drop. Um and yeah, so that's, that's where we are. We've got one minute left before the morning, and we're just going to head out and go. All right, let's do this. So we're going to head out. I'm going to, I decided we're going to head up the street here. Let's have a look at the map here. Um, so we're going to head down the main street here, kind of head over, you know, highlight the hospital, and then we're going to head up to the trader. I'm hoping that it's not through like the wasteland biome or whatever, uh, because I really, really do not want to be. Uh, um, going through there. I uh, should not be looting. I'm going to hold off. Um, if we have to come back, we can loot on the way back. Uh, we'll pick up stones and whatever else if they're available. Kill a few zombies on the way there. Um, gets a little bit more experience. I want to try and get a couple of levels today if we can. And we're hot already. Yeah, we're going to need to find better clothing if we're going to be out here. Okay, so it looks like we may be entering into the burnt forest biome. Which I think is... Yeah, that was a mine going off. So there's mines around this base right here. The Brother Theater, eh? Well, there's another building we can check out. We got some houses. So in order to make a bicycle, we don't have the skill quite yet to get it. Um, we just need one more skill point. And we can start putting together a bicycle, but we need some acid to make tires with, or wheels, I guess. Um, so we're going to have to find acid. The best place to find that is in sinks. Now, let's see here. Let's just get in here for a second if this counts as being... Oh, that was the other thing we needed was forged iron, and we just got it from destroyed workbench. Now, are we... Technically indoors here. Probably not. We have a roof over our head. I was hoping we could cool off. There we go. We'll get hot really fast again anyway, but... Alright. Let's just grab some... We want to get some eggs too, if we can. We got lots of bacon and eggs, but we still have a ton of meat. So I'm thinking that if we can get a bunch more um, eggs, we can stock up. At least we're not too overheating. Okay, there's the hospital there. Right? Around the main street now? Yeah, so so that looks like it's the burnt forest biome there. Is it? Looks like it. Let's go check this car out. We'll kill this zombie. Check the car out. See what's in there. Or is that the wasteland biome? Really sorry about this, buddy, but I must release you. No, it's the wasteland. I don't like the wasteland biome because there's like usually like a lot of zombie bears and zombie dogs. So I try and stay away. Ah, I'm not going to go after the rabbit. But we will kill this biker. What's up, dude? So this guy's got a lot of health. But he moves really slow. Ah. Always aim for the eyes. Another one. What's up, you? 
All right, let's finish you up. Check out this car. Okay, fire department, we can check this place out. A couple more zombies over there. Uh, let's take the steel arrows. We have some at home. And let's kill these two. Yeah, it's going to be the wasteland biome. And let's smoke this guy. What's up, buddy? I love that this bat pretty much consistently locks them down in the second hit. Depending on the zombie. Like Mo and the bikers and stuff, you can't necessarily knock down in the second shot, but a lot of them you can. Well, a lot more bird's nests. We're not getting any eggs, though. Ooh. Have a seat, buddy. Headshot. Getting a lot less uh, head explosions today. Oh, there's some eggs, finally. Okay, now we got to be careful of what we're going to be picking up here. All right, let's head towards this guy. Come on, give me a gun or something. Ah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having some better gear. So last night I made some armor. I made some padded, um, you can see here under our character. Uh, where are we here? So I made some padded chest armor and padded leg armor. Now it only gives me two armor rating each, which is really low. But it's, at least it's something. So if we get caught in a building and we get hit and stuff, at least it'll give us a little bit of defense. Not a lot, but a little bit. Alright. Um, at least most of this town? Oh, I missed you. Damn it. Yeah, well. I don't think he's going to come into attack. They just fly around most of the time. Unless, unless you're injured, they're not going to be doing much. They're just going to be standing there. Oh, it's a snowy biome over there. As long as this guy doesn't hit us, we'll be okay. And he's down for the count! Ah, it's Mo. See, Mo won't go down on the second shot, though. Or maybe he will. Oh, oh. Sorry. I guess he did. Alright. Let's see here. There's a bag in here now. Somebody's banging on something. Overalls. Hey, girl, what's up? And you're down for the count. Alright, let's get in the snowy biome. At least we're not going to be hot. But, oh, we can't pass this up. Oh, that was a one shot. Damn, man. Juicy. All right, let's keep going here. How far are we? We've got one kilometer to go. We've done pretty good for a couple of hours. There's lots of stones in this biome, so we'll take a couple of pauses as we go just to pick up some stones. That way we can manage our, um, our stamina better this way. I find if you just pause to pick up a few things. I mean, I could be walking, I guess, but this way we're getting resources and getting there, so kind of why I do it. More pills. Uh, we want the lead. Sure. Now, overalls. When we, the stuff we have now is better, so maybe we can just sell the overalls to the trader. I'm hoping we don't start freezing out here. 900 meters. 850 meters. Lumberjack. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. Well, he's not really okay. He's a little crazy. Let's take him on. Oh, ow. Oh, yeah. Have a seat. Oh, you got my arrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm really hoping that this trader is not in the snow biome. It's just outside the snow biome. Or if it is in the snow biome, it's like right on the edge. Yeah, I see ya. Ooh. I can't wait till we get our 
Oh, another headshot. What? Really? That's awesome. I can't wait till we get enough um, stealth up to uh, be able to get like, you know, plus three or four hundred percent damage. Another rabbit, not going to bother. Rabbits and chickens, man. I can get a chicken easier than I can get a rabbit. I've tried to chase down rabbits. Hitting them with, with my bow has always been hard. Yeah, I'm starting to freeze now. I'm going to start to slow down. Got our water down. Let's get drink some water here. Okay, let's grab these. The colder we get, the slower we're going to be. So, well, the sun's out now. It may warm up. See how it goes. Rabbits don't give you very much meat, so there's the trader there, it looks like. Just barely see him. Now, hopefully it's on the edge of a town or something. Like I said before, I've had a, I've had traders that have been, like, right down the street from each other. In just, like, slightly different biomes. So one was in a snow biome, one was in a green biome. <laughs> that's not, that's a house. Lots of stones. Oh, we're freezing it. Uh, I didn't bring a torch. Can I make one? Um, I don't make a torch. Animal fat, cloth. F okay, let's do this. Scrap this. Come on. Let's craft a torch. And let's move the let's move the frames out. We don't need them in there right now. Come on. It's damn cold. Okay, should this should start warming me up in theory. Come on, man. Don't freeze out here. We need to get in this house. I hear ya. See how slow we're getting? Die already. There's our level. Let's get in this house. Actually, let's get in the shed. Anybody in here? Okay, not so bad now. Alright, let's grab this. Nice place to lose stuff, though. All right, we're warming up. Nice. Oil, car filter. We can probably sell that stuff. We're damn close to that trader, though. 446 meters. I think we can probably make it. Come on, warm up. something up there what is this okay there was something there oh there it is small ammo pile come on oh not ammo it's a still all right well let's get going not gonna stay here forever Another car to search. I always hope for guns in cars. We don't always get them, but you might. I'm hoping that this is this guy's outside of this biome. Oh, repair kit. Four of them. Nice. I should really not be stopping. Let's just go straight. God, we're freezing. We gotta get out of here fast. Gotta get out of here fast. Come on, man. You can do this. You know you can. We're almost at the trader. Don't freeze to death. Let's get under a tree, maybe. I don't think that's going to help, but let's try it. Just for a second. Oh, 
That red flashing does not look good. There's a deer over there too. Man. We gotta go. We gotta go fast. I know, buddy. I know. We're almost there. 200 meters. God, man. This is not good. Not good. I don't want to die on day three. Can we get up this hill? Maybe. It's going to be damn slow. Stop snowing. Okay, where is this trader? Over this next hill, probably. Do we go? St I think we just go straight. Don't know if we should go down and around or just go straight. I'm thinking straight is the best bet. As fast as we can. Come on, get up this hill. No zombies. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Let's get in there fast. Where is the front door? Other side. We, we made it here in pretty good time. It's like four and a half hours. Not bad. If we hadn't been goofing around, we would have been here a lot faster. Let's get inside and get warmed up. Oh, there's a house right across the street, and there is a green biome right there. So we're going to explore that tomorrow. We're warmed up. Not bad. All right, let's get in here. Didn't freeze to death, guys. Didn't freeze to death. Did okay. All right, let's go sell some stuff first, get warmed up. Then we'll loot what's around this place. There's some nice stuff we can loot from here, I think. Oh, my God, it's cold outside. This guy's like probably surprised to see people. What's up, dude? Speak quickly. I need to see your inventory. Is that okay? What will you buy from me? Sell that. Shotgun, you'll buy that. Nice. Get the ammo back. Iron sledgehammer, sure. 22, why not? Uh, the silver nuggets for 300. Nice. Gold nuggets for 315. Nice. This will be 48. 50. Ooh, nice. I'll take that. Compound bows, sure. The arrows back for those. Um, let's sell uh, air filter. Two. Mm, might as well hang on to it then. We don't need the bones. Let's just drop them. We're definitely going to need the torch. So let's keep that here. Wood frames. We got so we got three extra slots. Not bad. Okay, so we did okay selling stuff. We have 921 dukes. Let's see what he's got here. Some speakers. Got to get our bass music going. <laughs> Puffer coat. Ooh. 900. It may be worth buying that. Oh, it may be worth buying that to go back and forth between this guy. Iron shovel, padded gloves. Shotgun ammo. Um, magazines. And this is the stuff that we sold them. Brass faucet. I'm thinking the puffer coat, maybe. Um, doesn't have a wrench. I was hoping for like a wrench or something, but we definitely need a wrench. Structural brace. Eh. We could hold on to the money and see if we can actually make it back. But I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking that's probably the way to go. 900 man let's put it on now I guess you're not so bad after all uh, not really so the leather poncho is better for heat so the puffer coat we're doing well with okay good so let's have a look around here a few places we can loot and we see if we can sell some more stuff to them the glass jars will hang on to sink give me some acid oh there's a wrench we needed so badly let's scrap this yeah, you ain't getting in here, buddy. You keep knocking, but you can't come in. Oh, more painkillers. 
All right, some garbage and stuff out the back here. More painkillers. What the hell? That better not be from Lucky Looter. I don't want just painkillers, man. The glue we can use to make duct tape with. Let's scrap the lead. One feather. Hooray! Okay, nothing there. Now, the cement mixer. Is this thing active? Yep. Okay, so it's got a good. He's got a cement mixer, so we know we can make cement if we need to. The workbench is functioning. Okay, that's good. I'm planning on making our own anyway, but... Alright, there's some stuff down here. This is where his alchemy still is. And I'm honestly, I'm hoping that it's busted and it's got beakers in it. Wooden chest. Nothing. Nothing. Not touched. And eh, nothing. Crap. Need beakers, man. Gasp. Okay. I'm starting to get overweighted here, but I'm okay with that. And one 762 round. And since one round could be the difference between life and death, we're going to take that. We've got some pretty good movement speed here still, so I'm okay with that. Now there's a couple of ammo boxes here. We, or, uh, yeah, a couple of um, weapon boxes here that we're going to have a look at. Hopefully we can get some good stuff out of them. So the first one is up here. Uh, right here, munitions box. Takes a while to search these things, but you can often find really good stuff in them. So I'm hoping we get a, like a better shotgun or an AK or something like that or a submachine gun or 36 rounds of ammunition. We'll take that for weapons that we don't have yet. And then the second box is up there and you got to get to it by one of these towers. So I think we got a bit of time, 11 o'clock. It's on the first level here. So we're going to go over here. And there's the second box. Hopefully we get like, well, I'll take anything at this point, any gun, except for a rocket launcher. We don't really need a rocket launcher. Ah, military vest. Okay, we'll take that. Better armor, uh, but we're not going to wear it just right now. Going to wait till we really need it. All right, so let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything I want to sell to him. I want to keep everything. Well, the gas, you know what? We don't need the gas. So let's sell that. Sell him his gas back. Oh, wait, we never checked the forged. It's destroyed. 15 stone. Oh, well. All right, buddy. I see your inventory. Yeah, you think? We wear the dead, huh? And we'll take any gas. Daylight's burning. You think? It's like 1130, man. It took me like four hours to get here, which means we if we're not going to go back home, we got to start leaving in four hours. Should probably close this guy's door. What's up, buddy? We got a puffer coat now, so I ain't afraid of your ass. Oh. I can move. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, get the head. Head. The head. The head. There we go. 800. These guys keep coming. Um, I want to check this place out. I mean, we could build right here. Like, that would be the hilarious thing. But it's it's it would be winter all the time here. Like, we could take this house. It's tiny. We just fortify it and then just, like, live here. right across from the trader but it is in the cold biome I'd rather be in the green biome so let's have a look around in here if there's a house close by it's just like in the green biome then maybe we just take that uh, I'm not gonna really see anything here let's get in here see what's over on this side what's up dude oh juicy How's it going? So this is like half in the snow, half in the green. There's more houses down here too. So that's actually not bad. It's all brick on this one side. Like we could fortify this. Right? And then we could build a pathway over to over here. Alright, what else do we got? This is the still the snow biome though. I thought I saw another building down here. Probably mistaken. Yeah. Not seeing anything. But this does kind of go into the... Uh, does kind of go into the... Uh, does, I guess it doesn't. I thought it was going into the green biome here, but it's not really. 
couple of green trees, but not much. Um, hmm. Let's just go look back this way for a bit, and then we'll probably start heading home. We could stay here, but I don't see there being any reason to. The thing I don't like about this snow biome is that it's all like lumberjacks, pretty much. And they're tougher to kill than the regular zombies. So, I mean, I don't really want to be... Like, if they decide to attack my house, it's just going to take longer to kill and stuff. There's another one. Getting lots of eggs. Well, not lots, but enough. Alright, let's just look over here. We'll spend a couple of hours. Look over here. See if we can get some more honey here. We used up our last thing of honey, so... There we go. Nice. Now, if we find a house over here, I'll stay here. See, I, like, there's more zombies, I think, in the other biomes than in the winter biome, but the zombies in the winter biome are just a little tougher. See, two hits and he's down. He was guarding that rock. Alright, let's see... Yeah, I hear you up there, buddy, but, you know, unless I'm injured, you ain't coming down, so I'm not worried. Oh. Targets of opportunity. Yeah, baby. Alright, let's get our food up. Yeah, I guess he spotted me. Oh, really? Really? Alright. I am not seeing anything. Still got a bit of time. Oh, what's that over there? Yeah, what's up, Mo? Meh. You seem upset at something. See, Mo's a little stable, more stable on his feet than the rest of these zombies, and takes a few more hits. But good shot to the head takes him down. What's up, buddy? Okay, so it looks like we do have some places over here. So I think what we do is we move in here, find a place to set up shop. And then we build our bicycle, and this is in the snow biome. Or is it all in the snow biome? I hope not. I hear you. You're a crawler. There you are. There you are. Come get somebody. Um, yeah, so I think we stayed... Well, there was a stone here. I don't even know why I'm looking for it. Um... Hey, it's up. Maybe it's half and half. It could be like half in the snow biome and half in the green biome. Let's just, just stay in the green. This does not look good. No, it's not green biome. It is not the green biome, it's the wastelands, and I don't want to be there. Dogs and bears and evil, oh my. I hear ya. Alright, we will need to find a place to hold up for the night. Most likely it's going to be in one of those houses by the trader. I mean, we could just live there. But... There's no real, like, we have to go a long way to find POIs to explore and stuff, right? Which is not what I want. I want to find a town so that at least we've got places to explore and find stuff. Okay, so here's a road. Looks like a main road. A biker. Goes down to the snow biome. Come on. Yeah, more ammo. Not sure where they're going. 
Oh man. Okay, well. Oh, there's some buildings down there on the left. Okay, let's go down here. I just want this rock, girl. I don't know why you're so angry. Is that your rock? I'm sorry. Sorry if it is. Thanks for the loot bag. Three water. Well, it could have been a lot worse. Have a seat. Alright, now where did that house go? Over here. I'm really hoping it's just not like a house. It looks like it's just like a farmhouse or something. Not part of a town or anything. Rawr. You're so threatening. So scary and threatening. Um, I don't know, man. Like, if we get a bicycle, like, if we find acid here, we're able to make a bike, then we can take trips and go to towns and stuff. This does not look like it's a uh, town or a village or anything. No, it's just like a cottage. I think, if I'm not mistaken, though, there's a workbench in here. And it is functional. Hmm. What's up, guys? You seem pretty angry. You seem pretty darn angry. Groin shot. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah, there's not much here either. A couple of houses. I mean, we could put ourselves up in this big house up here. But once again, we're like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, another place back here. Is that? That looks like it's all brick. Yeah, I hear you over there. You gotta come up from under the tree. I can't see you. Oh shit, that shadow scared the hell out of me. It came up so fast, I thought it was a zombie. Alright, let's get you. Go down. Ooh. He's not having a good day. Another one. I must release you. So that's actually pretty good. It's like pretty much all the bottom levels are all brick. We could fortify these. Take the stairs out. That could be a nice little balcony to fight zombies from. Although they'll go underneath, right? Now this is wood and stuff. Well, there's a few places to loot here. It's like 3.30. I mean, we could rush it home. We could make it home. Ah, uh, you're stuck in the car. It's almost too easy, but... Oh, I got you out. I don't know why you're complaining, I got you out of there. I mean, if we found acid in these houses, we could stay, build a bike, and go home. If we could find enough plastic, that's the other thing. We had to find enough plastic somehow. That's the big problem, is plastic. Gotta find like, oh, there's another house over there too. Gotta find like 40 pieces of plastic. So it's a hefty amount of plastic. We can get some from tires, but not a lot. We're overloaded, like we can't run back now. Don't need that. Let's just search. We're going to stay here, I guess. You yeah, can see the scrap this. Um, let's go and figure out which house then we're going to take. 
So this guy's another at the end of the street it is. So I think the one back here, this will be a good one up here we can take. So we're going to need a drop chest. So let's grab a uh, secure chest. Craft that while we're going. Because we can't enter the house when we're this slow. If we get overwhelmed by zombies, we're done for. Oh, we got a shotgun, so it's not that bad. I mean, I guess this isn't that bad. We're near the trader. We got a bunch of buildings we can loot. And as long as we can get some acid out of some of these buildings, or one of them, um, then we can make a, um, a bicycle. It's really the acid is the hardest thing. We've got the forged iron now. So right now it's just the acid that we need. Yeah, see this has got a nice little balcony around the outside. What's up, you? Wow! You sound like a friggin' big cat. Have a seat. Alright, where is the way in? I guess it's on the back. Or we could go up here. Grab that already. Alright, so let's... We didn't search this. Steel crossbow bolts. Let's just scrap those for now. Alright, so let's put a drop chest down here. Let's just put it in front of... Let's not put it by the car. The zombies decide to attack the car. It'll explode and we'll lose everything. So let's just drop it here. Don't need the torch. Uh, the wrench will take in with us. That we can take in in case we don't come back out. Yeah, if we don't come back out. Well, we don't... Uh, I'm hesitant to drop the forged iron. Gonna need frames. Alright, let's go do this. Got some movement back here. Is this door open? It is. Nice big open area. Big mama. Anybody over here? Nope. Now don't go waking everybody up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go up first. Actually, I guess we should probably clear this first. I don't think we're going to be able to hit him from here. Nope, and we got a girl up. Oh, I missed. Stay very, very quiet. Lots of places to loot in here. Or lots of items to loot, that is. A guy there, someone here. Thought I heard someone swinging for me there. Oh, one shot it. That goes outside. Okay, nice. Not nice that it goes outside, but nice that there's nobody in there. Scrap that. I hear the bird up there. He's still flying around. He'll ignore me after a while. Okay, we got lots of things to loot in here. Yeah, man. Let's go downstairs, see what's down there. This is definitely a building we can fortify. Oh, Big Mom is under the stairs. Don't 
Don't break stuff. I hate fighting on the stairs, but it's not so bad if you're up the stairs. They can use the stairs a heck of a lot faster than I can, that's for sure. Ooh. How do you do that? Wounded walking up the stairs. See ya. Come on, big mama. There you go. Alright, let's see what we got downstairs. Oh. Somebody's angry down here. Looks like there's some good stuff down here. Come on. You're done. You're done. Ah, destroyed workbench. And of course this goes outside because why would it be easy? Alright, let's go see what else is around here. And then we're going to come back and loot this place. Let's break into here. Smash this door down and then I think we'll go get our loot chest off. We'll put stuff in the main floor. Um, let's loot down here. Oh, lucky goggles. Let's get those on. That's a great find. It's going to increase our luck a fair bit. Break into Shamway here. And we can get some food or water or something. Oh, we got st working stiffs tools up there. Oh, yeah. Pie, some scrap polymers. Uh, we need to get a lot of plastic. So, if we're going to make tires, I'm hoping there's acid in the kitchen upstairs. Hubcap. We don't need that, but we'll take it. Uh, nothing in the garbage pile. We can make hubcap mines too, that's the great thing, right? Alright, fragments. More fragments. Anything else? Concrete. Anything just a quick loot down here? I don't think there was. Oh, yeah, some garbage. Some glue. Bruce, Bruce, speed. Let's just do this. Oh, crap. We can't do much here, can we? Um, how can we get well they'll break in but we'll just do this for now then we'll upgrade at one level we'll have to fix this properly next time but just going to do that for now just so that we've got uh, a little bit of security in the basement we'll be able to hear them pounding on stuff down here now what's up on top of that nothing now yeah, there's something in here. Is there just... Oh, there's a backpack in here. Oh, flashlight. Okay. Um, are these cupboards? They are. Can of tuna. Another can of tuna. Alright, let's go drop this stuff upstairs. Uh, let's make a chest. Um, let's do that and drop it over here, I think. Let's board up these windows. Okay, and then we'll put the chest here. So let's make a chest. We'll put that right there for now. I know it's not really oriented the right way, but fine. Let's do that. And then let's go outside and get our stuff and bring it in. Now, most likely, we might get a wandering horde tonight. I don't know, but I don't know. I think we should be able to easily able to hold them down. Now let's see if we can get all of this. Did we get it all? We did. Okay. Nice. I think what we should do though is probably knock out... Is it 400, eh? We're going to knock out a couple of stairs on this side. And probably the main front. Force them to come in from the bottom where it's all brick. This way we don't have to worry about zombies. We can just jump and then if we have to do it, get back up, we can nerd pull back up. But this way we can just use arrows and shoot down on them. So that's this side protected. And then let's just break out these two. Uh, we're going to need more than that. They're going to be able to jump from there to here. So maybe we put in a fence.
So break this down. Getting really slow. Let's just drink some more yucca here. What do you got in here? Anything good? Ah, mother load. Nice. Yeah, so we'll knock this out. I don't know if they'll be able to jump with those fence railings there. Probably. Let's knock these out too then. Just in case. I don't know. We need to get away. We we need to have a way we can jump off here. So I don't really want to break down the uh, like cover up this hole. Let's repair you, and we'll get inside and finish looting and see what kind of loots we get out of this place. Now I could. I think what I'll do is I'll make a land claim block and drop it here. See, this isn't too bad of an area. At least we don't have to worry about being cold and stuff. So let's go and make a land claim block. It's going to take a little bit of time. Well, that's crafting. Let's do this. Not that it'll make that much difference, but let's drop some stuff in the chest here. At least to make us unencumbered. All right. Uh, yep, yep. Okay. And let's just check out under here. Oh, green dye. Nice. Pile of ammo. Steel jacketed ammo. Glass jars. What's this? Nothing. So we got a loot bonus of 100 now. So I'm hoping we find better stuff. There's another one in there. Lots of stuff in this place. Look at this. Nothing. Is there a stove in this place? Oh yeah, over here. Let's grab this out of the way. Let's take this out of the way. Well, it looks like a lot of stuff has been looted here. I don't think we're going to get much. Definitely not going to get any acid now, though. Yucca seeds. Man. Oh, maybe here. Acid? I got one. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's put our cooking fire... We're going to need to make a campfire here, so let's craft one. Land claim block is done. Eh, I can't really throw it there. Let's just break this out of here. Get some coal at the same time. We can drop this in there. Let's break this out. We need room to fight in here. Like if zombies decide to attack us, we have to like have ability to be able to fight in this place. Because basically we're going to be fighting on this floor. Oh, a cowboy hat, ski goggles, nice. Salvage operations, plating schematic. Uh, let's put the cowboy hat on. Right. Um, wait, this is... Actually, cowboy hat's better for both, looks like. So we'll wear that. Um, okay, so we can drop in this stuff now. Scrap this. Green dye. Let's throw that into our bat for now. So we're going to get an extra 3 damage. Not much, but we'll take it. Alright, let's go upstairs now. There's a few things up here. We did pretty well today. I'm actually kind of, sh no, I'm not shocked, but I wasn't sure if we were going to need to make it back. I was really hoping the trader was in a, um, in a green biome, but it's close enough. I mean, we're pretty darn close to that trader. Let's just do this. And we'll break this up. And we can wrench this bed apart. Get some parts out of this. Get more experience too from wrenching a bed. But we need like springs and we need like iron pipes and stuff for the bicycle. Well not springs, but we need the iron pipes for sure for the bike. There's no plastic in this place. Let's just fix up a couple of this. Just in case the zombies do decide to come this way. Uh, those are okay. Close the bathroom door. Let's fix this one up. Can we get to it? There we go. Definitely don't want them in the kitchen area. Let's double reinforce this one. Okay. Um, put these in here. Uh, cotton. Nice. Okay. One of these can go in there. Land claim block. Let's put that down. And let's put our cooking pot in here. So we know we've got one here. 
Nice land claim block. This has got a lot of hit points, so let's put it someplace where... Oh. Let's do this. Got an idea here. A lot of hidden stuff here. Medical supplies. Ah, really? Alright, let's just drop it right there. Page down to use. We use it already. And I think that's it for this place. I think we're ready to go here. Let's go have a look at the balcony just to make sure we're okay. Grab these chairs. Yeah, I think we're alright. I don't think the zombies are going to be getting up here tonight. The only place I'm worried about is the basement. They can... I thought I heard a zombie there for a second. They can get in the basement. Not that worried about it though. Because um, we can always block this up if we had to. Right? We got everything, right? Just going to double check it down here. Just to make sure we didn't miss anything here. Nothing else up there. Got the washing machines. Is there anything back here? Oh, there's garbage. So we have a little bit of cobblestone here. We got a little bit of concrete, right? So tomorrow, I think what we'll do, we really need to fix this up. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks maybe we need to knock out or eight blocks. We got enough cobblestone here it looks like to make enough blocks to be able to fix that up. And then, there is, we got the backpack, right? We did, right? Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, and then hopefully we can find some acid in the nearby houses. Enough to make a bicycle. We'll ride back, grab all our stuff from the other town. And then uh, we should be golden. Make this our base of operations. And what we'll probably have to do is make a horde base off of the side of this one. Um... Yeah, make a horde base off the side so that we're not, um, because I don't think, it's going to take a while for this uh, base here to get be structurally sound enough to take on a horde. I mean, there's a few places you could go to be safe, but not like, it's a lot of material. So we'll make a base off to the side as our horde base, I think. And there's nighttime. All right, so we're going to leave the episode there, guys. We did pretty well today. Let's drop a bit of this stuff in here, so... If we perish in the wilderness, we'll have some stuff to come back to. The wrench, we can keep on us. We're probably going to need it for the buildings. We can leave some of this in here. Not going to need a lot of that. Take half of these with us. For tomorrow, shotgun we can take with us. And yeah, I think that's pretty much going to do it. Let's change the poncho around. Um, put the puffer coat in here for now. So when we go back on the bicycle, um, we'll head back. Actually, let's take some of that tuna. How much do we get for this? Five stamina, two health. Let's not bother. Let's save those for minor minor uh, uses. Okay, cool. Going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We found a new house. Um, I think it's going to work out well. Uh, we've got a basement. We can put our forge and everything. In. Well, we won't put the forge in the basement. Most likely we'll put it upstairs. Uh, the thing about having the forge in the basement, I've discovered... Oh, medical supplies. Grain alcohol. Um... The thing I've found about putting the forge in the basement, the issue with it, um, is that the screamers that come a little later on will actually dig down. They'll dig down and try and get to the forge. So having it up high means they try and get to the wall. So if we have spikes surrounding this place, then they'll be running into the spikes trying to find it and dying. So we'll be okay there. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.